Hello everyone, welcome to this new video to talk about Marketing Cloud. We will learn how to dedupe your database, how to dedupe a data extension, and how to get one single uh, contact for multiple records. So if you are collecting data across um, different sources, such as Facebook ads, email, uh, Google ads, you may have multiple records uh, that represent the same person, and your objective is to get only a single record of them. So in this video, this is what we will do. So as you can see in this data extension, we have multiple um, records with the same email address as you can see here. And us, what we want to do is to create um, a data extension that contain only one. So what I will do is I will create a new data extension and I will call it dedupe de. And the ID will be uh, that we will create this as a base. And then we will uh, create an automation in Automation Studio that will uh, allow us to, to uh, to dedupe this data extension. So this seems to be okay. Tac, 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 okay. So this will be my primary key, subscriber key, tac, 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 okay, so seems to be all right. I will just check that we have the same, uh, yeah, seems to be okay. So now what I will do, as you can see, I have two data extension. Dedupe will be my target data extension and original is like the original one that I need to clean. Uh, now I go in Automation Studio, I click new automation and and we can admit that we will do that on the basis. So I will just start to run it from tomorrow. Sydney, okay, hourly, every one hour, never. So this will allow my automation to run on an hourly basis. And then I will drag and drop an SQL query widget, and I will call that the dupe D. So that's the name of my automation. Then I will go in next. I will just copy my code. So here is the interesting part. I will explain the code. So what I do here, so I will take original DE. And what I do is I select all the field. So email, subscriber, key, date of birth from uh, all the, like, like the, like this field from, um, from my original data extension. And here I will come to say that I want to segment uh, like my, my data extension by a field. So I will take subscriber key in this case. And like I will order by, so it means that I will choose the field to order uh, with. So it will be every time, like we will take the most recent field related to date of birth. So for example, uh, like the most, if the date is like this today, I will take uh, today over tomorrow. This is what I will do uh, with this line. And I will write that as Aaron. So it's like a, it's like a counter, basically. I could call that CPT. And here I will say from. So here I will come to select my data extension. And I will just put original DE. And here is CPT equal one. So basically, as soon as my counter is equal one, I will stop to take field um, that are related. So basically, what I do in this query is I I take all the fields available in my original data extension, and I will take the first, the the the, the oldest one uh, that have been created for each subscriber key, and I will take it one time. And as soon as I find it, I will block that so that no other similar record with the same subscriber key can enter into my target data extension. So I validate my query, and then I go into uh, my folder. And here I pick my dedupe DE. So this is like the target data extension that contain uh, the same field as the original DE. I click finish. I click save. I give a name to uh, my automation. And then I click run once. I click run once. I click run, run now. And now, um, so it's always take a bit of time, but here basically we will have like the automation that will run just one time. And based on that, we will be able to see uh, what are the results. So let's see if it started. Yep, it started. So the automation just started. Now we will have a look at uh, the result as soon as it's done. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon we will like the automation. So like now what the automation is doing is that it's going through my original data extension. If it's picking one record, like the, the most recent record, and then um, as soon as 
like one record is found on the subscriber key, it can only enter once to my target data extension. And then like the data extension is finding uh, other uh, records that are not uh, duplicates of the one that already entered. So <laughs> let's have a look. Okay, so data extension is complete. So as you can see here, I have three records. Originally, I had 10 of them. And we will look at uh, what the automation pick. So as you can see, we have hello at Gmail, Arthur plus one, and Arthur at Sky into the target extension, into the result. But originally, we had uh, we had a lot of multiple records. And basically, what the script, like what the SQL query that we launched have done is that we clean the uh, database. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question, please let me know. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you.